Knock off Fruit Loops? Come on now, you could do better for your own child. What's good, YouTube family? This is your boy Measy2 live, and I'm back with another reaction video today. Son, I'm recording now. Son, I'm recording now. Hey, look, tell me what you just told me, alright? Uh, mom cooked her new boyfriend a steak and gave me dry cereal without milk. That don't make no freaking sense. First off, it's too late for you to even be eating cereal, but show me the cereal. Show me the cereal. <laughs> look at this, y'all. Look, no milk. That don't make no freaking sense. And she gonna make her whole boyfriend a steak. Put your mom on the phone. Okay. Put your mom on the phone, man. Uh, That's crazy, dog. I promise you. Because Shatter don't want to talk to you. I bet she don't want to talk to me. I bet she don't want to talk to me because she knows she wrong. She bugs. I promise you, son. If I could bring some food, I would. But I can't. I can't come into the house. But I promise you, I'm fighting for you, okay? Okay. I love you, man. I love you, too. So off rip, the only thing I can say is I feel so blessed having the upbringing that I had. I know that my mom would give me her last. I'm talking about she would definitely miss a meal to make sure I'm straight. And my parents were together, but I know she would never put another dude before her own son. Like, um, and if y'all if y'all seen Baby Boy. I feel like that's the reason people don't understand that whole complex. Like, there's nothing better than a son and his mom's relationship like that love. So the fact that she was putting a whole nother nigga over her son, and the last time she did that, she lost the son, it just kind of showed why Jody was acting the way he did and why he was feeling some type of way. I know the show, not the show, the movie was about growth and him trying to grow up and move out the house and stuff like that, but I don't know. If your mom put you before another, if your mom put another nigga before you, how would y'all feel? Let me know in the comments about that. But that's not what we're here for today. We're talking about this fucked up situation. Um, our judicial our judicial system is kind of fucked up. The fact that the baby mom always gets the kid usually, unless you take him to court, is kind of fucked up. Cause this is definitely an example of a woman that does not. I can't say she doesn't care about her kid, but he's eating dry Fruit Loops at night. And if that's all y'all had, that's all y'all had. But that's not the case. You cooking steak for your little boyfriend or whatever. Who knows how long that nigga gonna last? Who long? Who knows how long that nigga gonna be around? So, what? Where are your priorities? How do you feel about your kid? And. <laughs> The dad like, hey, put me on the phone. She don't. She already know what's up. She already know like, nah, I ain't talking to that nigga. Cause at the end of the day, she knows she foul and she wrong for doing that to her kid. So let me know what y'all think in the comments. Talk about your relationship with your mama. Do whatever. It's your boy. I'm easy to live, and I'm out. Peace.